Hi, John and Mike here with the, the Sphere Group. In this video, we're going to be uh, showing you how to set up the Horn Telescope and connect it to the computer. You can see we have a Horn Telescope here. We have our low noise amplifier, the LNA. We have our cable, and we have our air spy radio uh, connector. So the first thing that we're going to do is connect the LNA and cable to the can of the Horn Telescope. And if you have a telescope that has a little hole like we have for guiding the cable, then we found the easiest thing is to feed it through, screw it into the LNA before connecting the LNA to the can. Just a little note here, the LNA screws uh, counterclockwise to make it tighter when you're screwing it into the can just because it's really the can that's screwing into the LNA. So once that's connected, we then take our cable, connect it to our air spy, then we will connect the air spy to the USB port of the computer, and then we're ready to run the software. Software is the GNU radio program that we have uh, with Ubuntu. We're in Ubuntu right now. I'm opening a terminal, and I'm going to type GNU radio companion. I hit enter. It starts up. You would open and find your spectrometer with Cal program if you already don't have it in there. Before you run the program, you want to make sure that your prefix is properly set. And that is showing the path name for the files where your data is going to be saved. So if I double click that to open it, you can see that the value, there's quotes here. I've cleared out any previous path name that was there. And for this, uh, we want to fill in, in between the quotes, the proper path name. So to do this, th the best way I've found is to use the file navigator on the computer to make sure that the syntax is exactly right for where your file is going to be saved. So I've created, opening my navigator, I've created a folder called Horn Data July 2020. Notice there are no spaces. The program does not like spaces in file names or in text. So I use underscores. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, open the properties of it. And notice it has under here parent folder. And then it has the name at the top. So I'm going to double click or triple click on this parent folder. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to the GNU radio variable box. And I'm going to paste the, that prefix in there. And then what I want to do now is put the file the folder name, the rest of the folder name in there. So I'm going to go back to my navigator. And I'm going to just triple click the name and copy it over to here. I have to put a slash after that parent folder path name. Then I can paste in the data folder name that I'm going to use. And then I have to add a slash at the end because it's a folder. And the files are going to get written there. And what comes after that is actually the file name. All right. So we're set. The other thing you need to do is set the time integration times. You do not have to set these, but their default values for the long time are 10 seconds, and the short integration time is 0.4 seconds. If you want to change them, you may. OK, once you're set, you hit the triangle, you run, and your horn is ready to go.